what's up y'all welcome back to my channel second video blast okay that's whack <laughs> what's up y'all <laughs> welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Siobhan aka Bond the Don and I am the founder of fearfully and wonderfully made or FW made for short if it's not your first time then welcome back so I jumped back onto YouTube and uploaded my first video after a year about how to find a therapist now in today's video i wanted to record a video on how to know you have a good therapist so you've already found a therapist but what are ways that you will know do you have a good therapist so i will be letting you know that in this video go ahead and like subscribe comment join the conversation and share this video with people because i'm pretty sure that they want to know if they have a good therapist or while they're in the process of finding a therapist that their therapist do these eight things that i'm about to share with you all right so if you're interested in this video like i'm pretty sure you are then continue watching so the first thing you are looking for when looking for a therapist or a way to know that you have a good therapist is you feel seen and you feel heard. You feel seen and you feel heard. So we know that a therapist's job is to listen, right? But sometimes we can listen and not really be listening just as people. So when you know that that therapist has your undivided attention or you have their undivided attention, that's how you know that they're listening. So they're not scanning the room a million times. They're not checking their watch or looking at the clock on the wall. They're not distracted. They literally, you literally have their attention. I keep trying to switch it, but you have their attention. So you feel seen and you feel heard. The second way to know that you have a good therapist is you feel validated. So it's a difference between feeling validated and being accepted. But when you are truly validating, validated, then the therapist will be validating that whatever you are saying, whatever is coming out of your mouth is your truth. So what that might sound like is the therapist saying, wow, I'm really sorry that happened to you. That must be really hard for you. How have you been dealing with that? How have you been processing that? They will, they will turn the attention one back to you and take whatever you're saying as truth. They are being empathetic. They are being validating. Okay, so that's the second sign to know that you have a good therapist. The third sign to know that you have a good therapist is they keep their opinions and their biases in check. So that can be really tough, right? Because a lot of people associate therapy with um, what is it called? Like opinion giving or giving advice when therapy is not giving people advice. Therapy is helping that client or that, that patient make the best decision for themselves. They help and guide you to the best decision for your life. Cause even though we are experts in the field, you are an expert in your life. So they're helping you make the best decision for you. They're not telling you what to do. They're not showering you with their opinion or their biases because we know that if if they disagree or their opinion looks a lot different from ours then we probably don't feel safe and if we don't feel safe we don't trust them we might feel judged so keeping opinions and biases in check number four the fourth way you'll know that you have a good therapist is they continue to make the effort to educate themselves so like I said, a lot of people think that because we are therapists or they are therapists, they know it all. No, that's not the case. They slash we don't know it all. And we have to continuously do research to make sure we understand what our clients are telling us, especially if we have no kind of knowledge in that subject field or in that experience. So that therapist is going to make sure that they educate themselves on whatever you're sharing with them. So they're not 
missing the mark when it comes to helping you and guiding you make a best decision for you. So they want to have an understanding of what that experience might have been like for you or why you're thinking the way you think, why your worldview is the way it is. They want to educate themselves on those things and people's experiences and people's worldview and people's culture. So you'll know that they are a good therapists because they're making the effort to do the research to continue educating themselves. The fifth way you know that you have a good therapist is you trust them. They are an ally. They are an advocate. They are on your team. They are on your side. They are rallying with you and you trust them. So a therapist is not your best friend. They're not a romantic partner. If they're the person of the opposite sex or the same sex and you're attracted to them, they're not none of that. Like take that out your head. So just because they might alley with you and rally with you, it doesn't mean that y'all are like all of a sudden besties, right? But they they do, they, they trust you and you trust them. You form a therapeutic connection and a bond and a relationship that is professional, but you feel like I can tell them anything without feeling judged. I trust them. The sixth way that you are able to recognize that you have a good therapist is they want what's best for you. They literally want what's best for you. So what they will do, most therapists will provide you with recommendations and resources to help you on your journey, to continue to help you grow in whatever area you need growing, developing, challenging, challenges, challenging in they want what's best for you and that leads me to the next point that leads me to number seven they challenge you and they challenge you in a healthy way that's the difference because some therapists can be challenging and you're like this i don't agree with this but then some therapists can challenge you and maybe make you feel uncomfortable but it is a healthy uncomfortable uncomfortability it's a healthy growth for you so within that challenge and they'll provide you with resources and recommendations to help you on your journey so they will challenge you and if you ever feel like you leave a session and you feel dumb and you feel stupid you feel defeated you feel damaged then the therapist probably didn't do a good job because they probably made you feel stupid. You shouldn't feel stupid leaving a therapy session, but however, you should feel challenged in a healthy way to want to grow and to better yourself. So they are gonna hold you accountable. The eighth thing, the eighth way you'll know that you have a good therapist is they will provide solutions or a few options to help you with your problem. They will give you the tools necessary and order to cope or overcome whatever challenges you have and so like I said you're the expert of your life but they will give you tools that you can use and you can say I've tried this and this doesn't work for me and that therapist should be flexible that's when they will have options they should be flexible enough to say okay you've tried this and that doesn't work let's try this next thing and hopefully you are also flexible and on the journey too but they will provide enough tools and resources for you to help you grow. And you should feel like you're also growing when you use these tools and research. We know therapy is stretching. Sometimes we feel uncomfortable and sometimes we feel really great and empowered, but as long as you're using the tools and you see growth in your life and development in your personal life, then that's how you know you have a good therapist. And the last way to know that you have a good therapist is they are not rushing your treatment. They're not rushing your treatment. So if you feel like you have done really, really well and you might have plummeted a little bit or you're doing really well and you hit a plateau, your therapist is not saying, okay, you're continuously messing up. I'm about to terminate sessions with you, you have to go. No, they are gonna be patient with you because we know that progress is not always linear. We know that there's challenges and roadblocks that happen and sometimes we have setbacks and sometimes we have relapses, but that therapist should be there to champion you. They should encourage you to keep going and they're not rushing your progress because you've taken a step back or because you messed up. 
they're not rushing that treatment. So you know you have a good therapist when they are still in the game with you and they're still encouraging you and they're not rushing you with treatment. I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you feel like you can provide more tips that maybe I left, left out left out in this video, then go ahead and throw them in the comment section below because I'm interested to know if you do have a therapist, what are some ways that you know that they were a good therapist? What were those signs? What did they do for you? So go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, subscribe, share this video because people need this video. People love therapy all of a sudden. It's a buzzword. People want healing. So share this, okay? Don't be stingy on the resources. And as always, be inspired, be empowered, be bold, and be you. Be you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.